will literally show you the career that you've been wanting to see. Yes, it is time to experience the nooks and crannies of Korea as if with your own two feet on K Patch with Jennifer Jin. It is a Thursday. Ms. Jin, Jennifer Jin is in the Hello. studio. JJ. Good morning. I yeah. like the alliteration in your <laughs> name. I've not thought of that before. I was before. looking for that when I was choosing English name, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. So what else could you have come up with except for Jennifer? What are mm-hmm. some other J names other that J. you could have? Jennifer, Janiqua is not a name I've just made. Are there any other J names? I can't think of any. Maybe like, Julia, Julie. Oh, Jill is maybe yeah. one as well. Julie. No, mm-hmm. I think out of those, Jennifer's my favourite. Thank yeah. you. I, thought, I can think of some boys' names like James and Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry's one you could have done as well. Oh. Jerry Gin. That sounds like some kind of alcoholic cocktail, though. <laughs> I, I prefer what you've stuck with. Have you been well, Jen, since we saw you Hi, last week? Hi, everyone. Yeah, I've been good. Yeah. Avoiding COVID because the numbers are just crazy at the moment. No. I, I didn't check it's today's just so numbers. So depressing, isn't it, to look at the numbers? Did but, you Did you see how many yeah. we got to today? Oh, there we go. Over a hundred and seventy oh thousand. Again, that's two <laughs> that's days in a row. So big, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know, I'm just um, trying to find that life balance at the same time too. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, I have a kid and he has to grow. He has to see the world. So yeah, one of our listeners was saying that challenging, earlier. Challenging, isn't it? Yeah. Because we have uh, the hashtag today, Kamgi or cold, because we were talking about the kind of silver lining of mm-hmm. COVID is that people are wearing masks. So we're not catching colds. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. But then one listener said, but what about the kids, you know, and having to wear the masks and not seeing other people's faces in full, especially when they're young their development must be different right i'm so glad that you brought that up it's i think it's really a serious matter Mm. that's gonna last that's gonna affect kids for the rest of their life right yeah probably that generation yeah this pandemic will go away at one time probably soon Mm -hmm. uh hopefully soon but for kids they have this critical period where they get to communicate with the people read people's faces and all as you just said and it's really worrisome actually i wonder yeah what will the long-term effects be because i was always trying to be positive and i was thinking of my kids the good thing Mm -hmm. they'll be very hygienic they'll wash their hands and they'll sanitize their hands i think for the rest of their lives Uh like they'll be really good at that yeah and then they'll be good at wearing masks when the fine dust is bad Mm -hmm. like i think those are positive benefits but you're right maybe the negative social benefits i really do uh fear what those could be as well so for the hashtag kamgi Mm -hmm. or cold what comes to mind for you jin do you have any kind of remedies for that because we were talking about like different countries, maybe in Korea I've heard of, uh-huh. I wonder if you did, it's soju and like gochugaru, the chili pepper powder, <laughs> to like That's chase away. Remedy. I've heard, but yeah. I don't think it's medically sound. You know, <laughs> I, I never heard of that personally. Maybe it's a regional thing. I think it's a silly friend thing from <laughs> one of my mates. For me, I like to have quite a lot of warm beverages, especially uh-huh. gul uyu, honey milk. Honey milk? Yeah, I really like that warm Heated wow. milk and you add some honey in it. Oh, it tastes I've not heard so that. so good. Anything with honey thing. is good. I, I was <laughs> mentioning like lemon with honey, like a tea kind of thing, hot water. Mm. But with milk, does that help a cold? It's yeah, not too bad. It somehow just heats my body up and oh. warm myself. And somehow I think it really helps me Give, to kind gives of, you some you know, protein as yeah, well. And it helps me to go to bed well. I like it. Maybe you should try it. Great idea. If you're into your milk, yeah, an alternative to chocolate milk, perhaps. <laughs> uh, we've got some suggestions for your name if you were wow. to change it. Jackie Gin, Josie Gin. Should I change it? <laughs> my favourite one, though. Jumanji. I'm seeing a Jumanji. That's my favourite from Fantastic Frankie, <laughs> Jumanji Gin. Wow. Because then you've got the Ju and the G in Jumanji mm-hmm. and then Gin as well. Yeah. Do we that. have three J's. Oh, Triple J. think about that. Seriously. <laughs> uh, today's topic for our videos, we're doing something that many people, I think, have as their top or top maybe three fruits, perhaps. Mm-hmm. The strawberry. Oh, 
Do you like it? Daging Korean. I think, yeah, strawberry is one of those fruits that are really popular, loved by people. Mm. And uh, based on my research, it's the season from January to May. Strawberry is known to be the seasonal food. Uh But also, you know, the greenhouse strawberries that we're talking about today in the video. Yeah. Um, it's a hot thing for a lot of people to do their indoor activities, harvesting it themselves. Yeah, I did this maybe for the first time, oh, I'd like to say four years ago here <laughs> when my kids, were, you know, my son was maybe the same age as your son is now. And so he really enjoyed it. You know, whenever I bring some kind of activity, you're the you guys. I mean, you went through all that like a couple of years back. Yeah, Give us some tips. You go through those cycles yeah. with the ages of your kids because now my son's going into fourth grade. If I say, let's go pick strawberries, he'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that. It's boring. Really? But back then he was like, that's so fun, you know, <laughs> and he was amazed that you could pick it. And we went to one where you can pick it and eat it as oh. many as you can. Oh, that's so nice. I think he got sick on strawberries that time. <laughs> but yeah, daigi in Korea, it is very seasonal. Because I'd say in the UK, you don't notice it. You can get strawberries pretty much all year round mm-hmm. because they must import them or they store them well. But here in Korea, there really is a, that month of month, what did you say, January to May, mm-hmm. where you get them in the supermarkets. Then they kind of disappear. Yeah, that's true. You know, I lived in the UK mm. back when I was like, eight to ten yeah i also went to this farm grand farm where they had raspberries you know uk they have a lot of raspberries as well a lot of berries and you know you can eat it um at first hand but unfortunately because of the pandemic here Ah. it's not allowed Ah. yeah but you can wash it and have it in the car okay you can take it back there yeah not quite as i don't know nostalgic and romantic (laughs) as just picking it and eating it straight away and like you said it's maybe indoors so in video one we're gonna see you picking them in a greenhouse yeah in part one i'm gonna show you how i harvested it and in part two i'm gonna show you how i actually made the dessert oh okay Yeah. Okay, let's check Here it out. Here we go. So this is the farm, Lihan farm that I visited. Looks very functional rather than like right? touristy. <laughs> yeah. And we have to reserve a couple of weeks before. And this is the guideline video that you had to watch. Oh, really? <laughs> That's it hilarious. took about five minutes. Okay. And basically saying not run, not to run, and beware of the bees. And these are the strawberries. It wasn't that big, okay. but the color, the scent. So we're not that seeing that a lot in the video. And it's really warm actually inside. I think I should take this coat off. According to the lady, the staff, the temperature is about 25 wow. Celsius. It was really oh, now this one looks so cute. Let me harvest this one. Okay, here we go. I remember, yeah, you put two fingers over the top and then kind of pull exactly it off, like right? Exactly like that, yeah. Oh. That's the sound. You yeah. get. Oh, that's good ASMR, you isn't get it? Get it. And so you, and you this pick... you're seeing the sign, warning sign. Beware of the bees. Oh. So this is the bee house. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. So those bees help strawberries like, to get sweeter. Pollinate them and stuff, I guess. Exactly. <gasps> and you pay by <laughs> box. Oh. And the staff is saying that please come around between December to January. <gasps> Because you get to see bigger strawberries. Oh, at the beginning of the season. Yeah, beginning of the winter season. And she says it's also nice to visit again from April. Okay, you can see lots of them as well. And so in this picking experience center mm-hmm. you're basically just buying strawberries you like right. pay for how much you've picked mm-hmm. oh wow exactly. was, was the price like similar to the supermarket it or 32,000 won uh-huh. for whole box okay yeah I, I wouldn't say it was that cheap but the taste the flavor uh-huh. I can guarantee it was way better and they're all fresh as well right so you're not going to get some dirty little ones sometimes in the supermarket at the bottom of the box oh, they're yes. like all squashed and stuff but mm. you've picked them so it's your responsibility <laughs> not to choose any of those yeah because there are different types of strawberry farm 
one that I went to where you could eat as many as you can, mm -hmm. you just paid an entrance fee. Mm -hmm. And so you would get the strawberries included. So mm -hmm. you could eat as many and then put them in one box and they didn't weigh them. You'd already paid at the beginning. Mm. But I've seen those ones as well that you went to, Jen, where you're just basically paying for however much you pick. They're yeah. going to charge you. Probably because of the pandemic, I suppose. Yeah. It's hard to actually eat it eat inside. Did they tell you, like, how to know which strawberries are tasty or ripe and which ones not to pick? Because obviously the... In your video, I could see there are lots uh -huh. of green ones in the background. You shouldn't go for those, right? No, <laughs> yeah. Surely the red ones are the ones that are sweeter. Uh -huh. And uh, for the size, you know, it, it wasn't so big. Yeah. But again, it, it tastes like santaegi to me, oh. like a mountain strawberry. Like a wild one. <laughs> yeah, it was much fresher and the scent was so strong. Oh, that's nice. If you like that scent of strawberries. And yeah, when I went, I remember because we went to the kids, they were very careful to tell the kids, don't touch the strawberries that you're not going to pick. Because I mm. heard once you touch them, like the outside, they start oh, yeah, to go bad. Oh, yeah, that's what, how we heard too, yeah. Yeah, so that's why when you pick them as well, you should go from the top so as not to touch them as much as is possible mm. as well. Um, Donna in New York says, my husband's sister won't eat strawberries because she was traumatized having to pick them when she was little. Oh, she was forced to pick them. So it was oh. not so much for fun, but for um, maybe being told as a chore at home. Goodness gracious. Uh, Raul says, five to seven dollars for a kilogram of strawberries in Argentina. Mm. Yeah, I will say Korea is pricier for Very strawberries. Pricey. Even in the supermarket, yeah. We'll get to another video more of your comments as well seems like we've got more, lots of strawberry fans out there silver granny asking for this song as well twice is strawberry we got lots of messages coming in seems like we've got some strawberry fans but also some strawberry maybe anti-fans no natasia from malaysia says i experienced strawberries the first time it was sour and it ruined my imagination oh. they said it would be sweet but i guess i bought the sour ones so never really been interested in strawberries anymore. Oh, that's so sad. But that happens to people, right? Having the first bad memory mm. just gives that prejudice. Or... <laughs> it can scar yeah. you for life, right? And, and it happen. really depends on the batch of strawberries, I find. Some are so sweet, so delicious. Mm -hmm. Others can be sour. I don't mind sour ones, but the ones I hate, they have like next to no flavor. Like, mm. I don't know what's happened to them, but they're not sweet, they're not sour. It's just like chewy on mush. I hate those ones. Maybe because of the rain, too much rain. Perhaps too much water content. That's a good good mm -hmm. uh, yeah, idea. I think, no, give it another try. You'll find some delicious yes, ones. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. I mean, from my experience this time, I realized that the size isn't so important factor Not if you're all. looking for sweet ones. Yeah. yeah. Like in Korea, we're often proud that we have some big ones. And I've seen now they sometimes sell giant strawberries, like one at a time. And I was like, that's like an apple or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm seeing like the ones that's called Kingsberry. I'm not sure oh, it's wow. Konglish, but it's, <laughs> it's like the size of my fist. Yeah, and really? I, d I didn't try those because to me, that is scary. Like they're <laughs> too big. Right. Doesn't <laughs> you... look natural, right? No. Message from Brian. My area has strawberry picking, but I haven't gone. I grew up doing cherry picking tours with my parents, though. Oh. Cherry picking. Cherries are oh, wow. also a little bit pricey here compared to other countries. I'm getting jealous because in Korea, cherry is something that you eat on a very special event. Day. Yeah, I, <laughs> very I, expensive. I do wonder if we even grow any in Korea because I always see when I buy my cherries, they're yeah. like from Chile or somewhere you see like any that. Cherry farms, right? Yeah. Brian also says, I love the overripe deep red strawberries that are soft. No, if mine are soft, I, I feel like they're almost going bad. So I'm a bit fussy like that. Mm. But thank you for your opinion. Benedict also says, we have our own version of strawberries in the Philippines and they're also good. I guess in each country, they will be slightly different. Like maybe the species, but maybe because of the weather, mm -hmm. like you were mentioning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from Dona in New York. When we were small, a guy drove around in his truck in summer and shouted, strawberries! <laughs> <laughs> Just selling them off a truck. Oh, that's interesting. That's sweet. 
I've, I've seen certain fruits sold off of trucks in Korea, like maybe tangerines in tangerine season. I don't think strawberries, though, because they're quite, like we said... I haven't heard one. ...kind of luxurious, yeah? You've, yeah. You don't have a man... Usually we hear, like, goguma, sweet mm-hmm. potato, yeah. goguma wasayo, <laughs> but not daegi. <laughs> daegi wasayo. No, it doesn't make sense, does it? You got another message, there. Yeah, from Stacy. So sweet that Jennifer take her son to pick strawberries. Yeah, actually, the reason why I picked this place was mm. that it was such a nice experience for kids, <laughs> right? Yeah, to go and see where their food comes How from. How it's growing and you actually harvest it. Does he like strawberries? He does, oh, yeah. Good stuff, because my <laughs> daughter, she went as well, obviously, mm-hmm. when we took uh, my son, because he loves strawberries. She hates them, so mm. she liked picking them, mm-hmm. but would not eat any of them. <laughs> I said, there's no point in that. Leon says, the only strawberry I love is I use song strawberries. Strawberry moon. Oh. I'm not a fan of fruits in general. I just want to pluck them and then give them to someone else. You're like my daughter. And uh, yeah, you said strawberries, they can sometimes be sweet, sometimes not. And then you said not as sweet as our other listener, Noor. Oh, isn't that nice, <laughs> Liam? And from Steve, wow, those strawberries look so sweet. Looks like plenty for everyone. If the strawberries are very sweet, the price won't be an issue. Mm. The strawberries in our area are just okay, not really sweet right now. Oh, thank you for the information. But that's the problem. You don't know if they're going to be sweet or not, right? So sometimes I've bought them in the department store where it's super expensive and they've been rubbish. And then sometimes I bought it at a market. It was cheap, but they were delicious. You just yeah. you, you don't know what you they're going to taste like. You can't tell from the color yeah. alone. It's, it's not 100%. It's just a surprise. <laughs> and Siska, who's been to Korea many times, says, I want to go strawberry picking there. Here we also have it. I did it once, but our strawberries are much smaller and sour. Mm. Yes. Sometimes in the UK, I remember in our garden, we had a few. They were really sour as well. So maybe not to your liking. Video number two. We're going to get onto that in a second. But our uh, producer gave us some interesting information in the Mm -hmm. song break, saying that the monsoon season, I think, came late last summer. And so a lot of strawberries, the crop wasn't so good. So that's why they're even more expensive this time around. Yeah. I've seen many places now sell frozen strawberries for cheaper, but they're really it rained not a lot the same. last year, right? Yeah, indeed. This summer. In part two, I can see we've got the screen capture here. Yeah, I What's wanted to show on? you some of the strawberry desserts. And uh, the, the farm that you just saw from the part one, mm-hmm. they didn't provide any services. So I looked for other places and ah. I found this place. I went there, I hit there on Saturday. So you're going to see a very different vibe. Ooh. A lot of people. (laughs) Busy strawberry farm. Let's take a look. Here we go. So this is Super Farm. Oh, what is that? And they were making strawberry jams. Yeah, yeah. For me, I tried the cake. There was this instructor giving guidelines. And there were like 17s. Okay. And they give you all the ingredients like this. Yeah, the creams, the bread, knife, strawberry. Ah, uh, you do it in the little plastic jar. This is exactly yeah, the same the as I did. Yeah, <laughs> this is we're fun. We're going to put all the ingredients in and add some cream. There were two types, custard cream and white cream. And chop the strawberries, of course. And that cup means you can't get it wrong. Like, it makes it easy. <laughs> <laughs> put the and strawberries decorate on top. it as you wish. Okay. Yeah. And then more cream. More cream. If, if you're a cream lover, you can put a lot of cream. Oh. And... Add another layer of uh, bread. And here sponge. you're seeing people, a lot of kids there, yeah. and couples, families. Oh, this is And fun. add another cream layer. <laughs> Lots of cream. Yeah, strawberries and cream is a timeless classic Isn't combination. It? Oh, you this did two is versions. The final reserve. Yeah. The custard and the plain cream version. Mm-hmm. And oh, you can try good. it in the car. Oh. Is it nice? It was so good. You just yeah. picked the strawberries as well, right? Well, that one you had to reserve for another oh, and they, program. They give it was you the all strawberries. Booked. Okay. I have to tell you, this is so popular. Wow. And they open it every Monday. Most uh-huh. of the farms, they open the classes every Monday morning. Yeah. And uh, it's fully booked by that day afternoon. What? Really? Yeah. Wow, I guess Very there's, popular. there's new generations of kids all the time. And you've got to do it, I think, once. I think every Korean kid has done <laughs> strawberry picking like once. 
Uh, Kushi, thank you, says the store- strawberry pie cake is delicious. Yeah, I remember because I don't really like fruit in my dessert. I want dessert that's really bad for me. No goodness. But that one was really delicious. Yeah. Mm. Especially with the custard cream on it. Oh, it's brilliant. So how, how much roughly are you speaking for that? Yeah, it cost 16,000 won. Mm. That was the full cost that okay. I paid for one program. And total, there were three of us. So okay. I think it was pretty economical. Yeah, and you're getting those two like... Yeah. jar cakes if we can call them that and you might think when you originally see that oh that looks a bit cheap and rubbish but no it's kind of if you make it look arty yeah and i i knew that the strawberry would taste really good but i was also surprised how the quality of the bread the chocolate bread was mm. and it went so perfect with the cream the <sighs> strawberry You're making me hungry Who steve right <laughs> steve says they make it easy for anyone to make the cake perfect for kids yeah because it can't escape out of the jar you just shove everything yeah. in and so they There's no mess as well. Even my three-year-old kid can follow it easily, so mm. I highly recommend it. Were there other options for different desserts? Yes, actually, there were classes for um, ice cream making class oh, and strawberry, strawberry ice cream. jams. And actually, our PD name prepared the photo for that. This is the c h a r p a n ice cream. I did that at an, a farm, not a strawberry farm, but like an animal farm. Mm-hmm. And what you did was you just mixed milk and strawberries together in this big bowl. Uh And then they have this like ice cold metal pan. Mm -hmm. And then if you pour the cream thinly on there, it turns into ice cream. And that's why it's like rolled up because you like scrape it off the pan. Wow. It was really good as well. Really delicious. Wasn't it difficult though, rolling it in that shape? Yeah, it didn't look perfect like that. Mine was just a load of rubbish at the bottom of a little Sounds paper really bowl. Sounds really fun, though. Yeah, the kids really enjoyed it, making ice cream mm-hmm. after all. Uh, And this is the p o n g d u So you basically dip the strawberry into the chocolate sauce, and uh-huh. but I'm seeing other sauces as well, creams, uh, nice. depending that, on your preferences, yeah. That might work better with bigger strawberries as well. Oh, You've yeah. got to kind of dip them in there. Mm-hmm. I've seen like p o n g d u quite popular at places like you can buy different types of fondue not just for strawberries uh, even in the supermarket recently they started selling cheese fondue mix and oh. you just put it in a pan and then leave it over a candle put it on the dinner table and you dip bread into it it's so I good i think we have koreans have some fantasy about p o n g d u s you know that yeah. just makes everything so romantic yeah, it's not really rosy. common at all in the uk but yeah it, i've seen it many times here guys and girls I hope you've got inspiration from Jen's videos. Send in any photos, videos or descriptions of fruit picking or fruit desserts and we'll talk about them. Show those photos in part three. Our cacao username once again is Daily K. Here's another song. We got IU. This is for Leon in particular. Strawberry Moon. We learned how to sing that song, guys and girls, if you remember, quite a while ago with Korean Onni on a Tuesday. Oh, nice. I've totally forgotten all the lyrics that we <laughs> learned. I remember the melody, though, and Strawberry Moon, but that's English. Lots of messages, lots of feedback from you guys. Princess Mama says, You can tell a little bit, at least, how a strawberry will taste. The more sweet is deeper red, mm. and I think the lighter red means more tart, maybe more kind of sour. I'm going to test that out, Princess Mama. Thank you for your I advice. I think that kind of makes sense. Yeah, maybe, deeper. Maybe that's the sugar or something. Mm. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> And from Rao, on the local fruits, veggies markets, on supermarket, the price are... Mm-hmm. Uh, crazy. I think crazy. Gila <laughs> is the word that many of our listeners use. I think it might be Gila. from Thank Singapore you. or Indonesia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Silver Granny says, our local strawberries aren't in yet, so our stores are carrying fruit from Mexico. That must be what happens in the UK. Maybe mm. we have British strawberries at a certain time, but you can get other strawberries all year round as well. And did you know that you can get strawberries that are white in c o l o r when they are ripe? I did see those I even in Korea. Yeah. And yeah, they seem to yet. sell them. But I would find, my brain would be telling me, don't eat it. It's like not <laughs> ripe. But if they taste good, I guess that's great as well. And you said, when strawberries are ripe, we head to a place in South Carolina called Strawberry Hills. They have the best strawberries. Oh, nice. What a name. A yeah. hill full of strawberries. <laughs> that's what it sounds like, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. And from Stacy, we start our farmer market in June. 
farmers、mm. markets. I have seen them start to crop up in Korea from time to time. Even at Socho Kuchong, like the local district office here in our Socho area,、mm-hmm. they used to have. I think pre-COVID, farmers come up to Seoul and then they'd sell their things, their wares, for a cheaper price. Oh, yeah. But in the West, they're really common and they're really fun places to go. Benedict says, "Oh, it's making me hungry again. I love this weather in the northern provinces of Philippines. Sometimes hit by typhoons that affect the strawberry farms.、Mm. As we said, the monsoon rains affected our ones last year." Yeah, and from Steve again, we are getting strawberries locally from Santa Maria. Which is in Central Coast. Oh, interesting. And from Leon, the cost for this is separated from the strawberry picking. Oh, it's a question. Oh, for the cake. Yeah, the cake、yes. was separate. This、right? is a completely different spot where I filmed it on a different day, and this is just for the class alone, 16, not the picking. Sixteen thousand, right? So about what fourteen dollars, something like that. And、uh, right. as Jen said. At that place, you can do strawberry picking, but it was fully. Booked. It was fully booked, unfortunately.、Okey-dokey. And there were other classes like making strawberry jams and、mm-hmm. ice creams. Not the pongdu, but it's also one of those popular classes open in other forms.、Mm, indeedy.、Uh, Noor says, "I went to Cameron Highlands. It's famous for tea and strawberry, but I choose to go to this tea estate rather than the strawberry farm. Bye bye, strawberries." You really aren't a fan, are you? <laughs> no, but thank you for the message. You no, know, I used to hate banana, so、uh-huh. I, I understand. You know, sometimes you just don't like the flavor, and for some reason, your preference can change at some point in your life. Because、yeah. that happened to me when I became like twenty something. I think taste buds do develop, right?、They、yeah,、change. I love bananas now. And I、so. did hear if you don't like a food, if you eat it. Seven or eight times, like in short succession, like over a week,、mm-hmm. your taste buds will get used to it.、Oh, so you, you just have to let your、it. body、yeah. to get used to it. Adjust, maybe. Time to get on to some interesting photos. Silver Granny Lynn has sent in some BTS ones here, saying, "Did you know that BTS's Sukjin、uh, has an uncle who owns a strawberry farm? Here is Jin in the greenhouses during、oh, a recent、wow. visit." Oh my goodness! Wow, that would have been fun if you ran into BTS I know, members. I should have hit that place. Yeah. Why did I not know? <laughs> Why didn't they invite you? Call up Jin and ask where、oh. is your invite, okay? And then Lin also sent in some other photos saying, "Today I made strawberry bourbon jam. It's easy and good." Oh my goodness! So you put in alcohol? One of my favorite alcohols. There, Southern Comfort. Oh, just a tablespoon,、Ooh. and then it may be what is it? A little bit alcoholic, then I wonder. That's cool. Have you made jam before, Jin? I did a couple of times actually. Oh, yeah, I just put the strawberry and the the fruit, but I've never tried the alcohol version. Yeah, <laughs> version. So, so I think jam is really nice, though. It's quite not easy, but sugar and the fruit in a pan, and、mm. that's about it, right?、And、then you just kind of heat it up. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, some water, and then. I, I did.、Yeah. I did hear if you make your own jam, though, you're quite worried because there's so much sugar、mm. that goes into it. So when you eat it, you're thinking this is not good for my teeth or my waistline. <laughs> perhaps. Thank、sure. you for that, Lynn. And from Ing, there's Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. We used to go there for a short holiday for a cool、ah. uh, vacation. You can pick strawberries at some places, but we never did it. We、oh. just bought it. <laughs> and ate it with locally grown salads. Oh, nice! There are many strawberry items for sale, like teas and candies, but it's mostly made elsewhere, not at the Highlands. Oh, really? So that's what Noor was talking about. Cameron Highlands. These are the photos. I saw a strawberry smoothie, some with waffles, ice blended butterhead. What is that? And butterhead. These... Oh, the vegetable. Oh, really? It's... I've never heard of it. You can see it. In、um, department stores in Korea, oh, like fancy, yeah. Oh wow, do tell me what that tastes like. Your、oh. expression on your face doesn't look like you're <laughs> loving it, though, Igin. Thank you very much、Thank、for those. Thank you. We've also got something from Brian Co in the states who says, "Well, it's not strawberries, but this was my attempt at a caramelized upside down banana cake. It didn't retain its cake shape, and it was super sweet." 
oh wow oh i know those upside down cakes so you put it in like a tin or a bowl and then you turn it upside down and it just kind of falls out and then all the ingredients the best ones are on the top now mm. oh, i don't know it looks good you know we cook ton like that uh-huh. like a pancake korean version yeah. flip it over there you go the best side <laughs> We don't put bananas in there often, though. No. Maybe we could try that. Banana jam. Maybe. Because <laughs> I, I have fried bananas is quite good as well, with like some syrup or something. You can fry bananas? Yeah, like make them a little kind of crisp on the outside and then smooth in the middle with maple syrup, maybe on a pancake oh. or something like that. Give it a try. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> nice. And from Raoul, the strawberry is a symbol that gives national identity to the city of Coronda Santa, oh. uh, du province. Okay. It is one of the main supply centers in the country with a production of around 7 million kilos per year. Wow. Which represents... 45% of the national production. That's For amazing. reasons of public knowledge in 2020, the organizing commission decided to hold the party in virtual format in order to guarantee the continuity of the party and the safety and health of all those who participate in the party each year. So you've got like a strawberry kind of beauty pageant, it looks <laughs> like here. Interesting. Everyone is dressed in red like you know, strawberries. In Korea, we have like insamagashi, like ginseng. There are local foods that uh-huh. represent certain region. I think. Do you have like some kind of beauty thing associated with that as well? An yeah, agashi, like, like insam a, agashi a or something. Wow. Agashi. <laughs> but not cool. strawberry, not that I heard of in Korea. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, we also have this, I think, from Tropic Girl K. Yes. Who has sent in a photo. And the backdrop is always stunning as you're over in St. Lucia and we're jealous. I'm just pulling I happened it up to now. see the photo in advance and I was so glad that she got the mirror oh, that we made. That was actually one. made from Minji. That's beautiful. Uh, the pearl. Oh. I'm glad you're happy to have received that. I remember seeing that Handcraft in the studio. Handcraft Studio. It was beautiful, Jen. It was. As was your strawberry dessert today. Thank you so much. Next week, have we got a theme locked down yet? So, you know, next week we have an important day coming up, March the 1st, which ah. is the day when we have the independent movement. So yes. I'm going to bring some theme related Ooh. to Korean culture and history. Meaningful. All right. Have a great week and we'll see you then. Have a great day. Here is Ha Sung-un and it features Don Mills' Strawberry Gum.